jacked up by everybody, right? <laughs> but Jerry, Jack Jerry. Show, the old uh, conference games, points on the line, shootouts that mean something. Uh, if it comes to that, uh, it's it's. I was asking asking coach. It's uh, a spread out, but here it's almost like a playoff here in November when you're in the conference games all year, right? Yeah, definitely. I uh, definitely want to get off to a good start in conference. Um, you know, every point is so huge, and we definitely want to, uh, you know, finish as high as we can. So, yeah, every point uh, is huge. So it's going to be a good battle this weekend to start off in the NCHC. What did you guys learn from Ohio State that you could take forward to this weekend? Yeah, uh, I think just, um, you know, that we're going to battle some adversity this year. Um, you know, everything's not going to go our way. Um, you know, we thought we actually – Played two pretty good games and um, obviously didn't get the results for it. But um, I think just learn to battle that adversity and just keep playing our game and keep playing the right way. And, um, you know, in the long run, it'll work out for us. Coming back for your fifth year, what kind of goals do you have for yourself with this new opportunity? Yeah, um, uh, excited, obviously, to, to come back here again and, um, you know, keep uh, working towards the goals that we've been working for it as a team and um, yeah I think just just take another step in my game um, um, as a leader as well and just um, you know be a good good teammate and um, yeah just keep working on things keep getting better every day and um, just looking to improve off last year. When you talk about fighting through adversity against Ohio State was there anything your team showed despite the result on Saturday and only getting a point out of the weekend that kind of inspired you or stood out to you about your resolve? Yeah, I think uh, we, we did a good job of staying with it. Um, you know, we got down er, uh, too early, but I think we uh, really stuck with it. Um, killed off a big penalty there to start, and then had a really, I thought we had a really good second period to bounce back. Um, I thought we were all over them in the offensive zone. So just really liked how we uh, stuck with it and, um, you know, came out and just kept playing hard. Ohio State was really fast, but also really physical, and you guys kind of responded as well. Is that a way this team wants to play this year, is just as physical as the other team? And it just felt like there was a different level of physicality from this team this past weekend. Yeah, definitely. Definitely want to um, come out and kind of set that tone with physicality, especially here at Baxter at home. We want to make this a hard place to play and um, just know that uh, when teams come in, it's going to be a hard-fought battle um, when they come here to Baxter. Jack, when you're coming down the ice and you're, you're, you're on a rush, and uh, Ohio State was really, uh, we've talked about this with Coach, uh, going to plug in the middle uh, with, the, with their four-checking pattern in there. Sometimes when it's tough to get over that opponent's blue line, what, what do you think? Just get it in there and uh, maybe just ha have to dump and chase and win those one-on-one -on -one battles? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, try and, um, you know, take what's given to you. If the ice is behind them, then put the puck behind them and, try to go to work down low in the offensive zone and create offense from that if we can't get off the rush. And uh, we talked about that this week uh, as well. We, I know Western's going to be similar, so um, we want to get the puck behind them and um, go to work and uh, not turn it over there and to feed their transition. Coach mentioned uh, on film, it looks like you're doing everything right. It's just not going in for you. How, as a player, do you just move on to the next shift? Um, and kind of avoid that mental frustration. Yeah, I think you just, yeah, that's exactly, you just have to try and have a good mindset with it and, and just stay positive and um, just know that it's going to come. You know, just just keep working and, um, you know, just try and uh, contribute other ways too. Um, you know, just, I just try and, you know, go out there and be hard every shift, win battles, be good on the penalty kill. And, um, yeah, just know that, um, you know, it's going to come if I just keep working and um, just keep working in practice throughout the week, work on my goal scoring around the net. And, um, yeah, just, just keep trying to keep a good mindset with it and staying positive for sure. To have two straight-ranked opponents come here early in the season while you're not jostling for position with two weeks left in the regular season, what can that help you identify and, and how can that help to just kind of evaluate where you are as we get into the heart of the season? Yeah, I think it's it's great for us. You know, it's it's always fun to to play some ranked opponents, especially um, ones that are ranked um, you know ahead of you, and um, to try and beat them to show uh, show everyone what we can do and um, the teams that we can compete with. Um, and I think that's definitely going to help us uh, later on. You know, we got obviously a great conference, so it, um, you know every conference game when we get to the end of the season is going to be tough, hard fought. So I think just getting some of these um, games early with some good teams is going to help us then.